working with the firefighters, human rescuers, and we've been creating a, say, the team of robots and the humans in a way they could smoothly work together. We have four kinds of robots. Uh, flying quad rotors, the hexapods is the six leg small robots, which we hopefully will be more useful in the cave and the other environments. And then the, the bigger ones, two tracked robots with active flippers, where you can control the flippers actively in order to increase the, uh, the terrestrialty performance. And one husky robot. The city underground. For that kind of environment, the robots, especially the tracked ones, are a little bit suit better because we expect the challenges like going down the stairs and up the stairs and so on, and they can really do it quite well. Beta, we've seen a lot more action as they have deployed four of their systems and have earned one point. Some of the systems that you've seen out there are called Absalom. Now they also call them the traders. Um, I talked to Thomas Sepulveda, the team lead yesterday, and he was telling me that they're not necessarily the fastest systems, but they are very reliable. Now you can also tell on the beta side that they've been trying to work on that right there, one of their multi-rotor systems to see if they can get that to be deployed in the second half of this scored run. It's day three of the urban circuit of the subterranean challenge brought to you by DARPA. Well, your first run update on the second set of scored runs of day three of the urban circuit. My goodness, it's been fun. CTU Krasnor Lab was able to get down the stairs. We saw their trader, or they call him Absalom as well, systems was able to trek down those stairs. Well, it's time for another run update because a lot has happened in the last 20 minutes, especially on Alpha Course, where we've seen Phantom X, that would be the legged system out on the course, as well as another one of their Absalom robots go down the stairs. They've also scored two points and they are just about to send off a drone as well onto the course. So they now have seven systems on course. Surviving. We also noticed that uh, your Phantom X robot may or may not have gotten a little run over. Did you did you know that happened? Uh, actually, yeah, well, it did happen. So, but the funny thing is that the the Phantom robot is still able to walk. Okay, good. It we have hit the halfway point of our day here at Satsop Business Park in Elma, Washington, which means it's time to see four teams get a chance to have their first runs of the second round.
Dawn beta course where CTU Cross Norlab is, they looked like they were getting ready to set off their Hexapod. Now this is a system that they did a lot of updating on prior to their arrival here at the Urban Circuit. They updated the construction of the body as well as the software. Now, we also saw this Hexapod get run over in one of their earlier or earlier runs. So it's nice to see, hopefully they have that system back up and running so they can use it throughout this scored run. And there is the down drone for CTU Cross Norlab. Just a few minutes ago, we saw that get launched and then proceed to run into a wall, flip over a couple more times. And that's that blinking green light you see there on beta course. And you can see the elation from CTU Cross Norlab as they just got a fourth point prior to the conclusion of their scored run. So they are ecstatic down there on the beta course. Cerberus ended up with one point uh, on the board after Alpha Course. So let's take a look at our leaderboard and where we stand. So you can see Explore and CoStar still up there. And as for CTU Cross Norlab, they did best their score on beta. So their total score is now reflected with a total of eight points. So that's a big moment for CTU Cross Norlab. Well, that is the conclusion of our second set of scored runs on our final day of the Urban Circuit. You can see rounds of applause from Cerberus and as well as CTU Cross Norlab. Now, CTU Cross Norlab should be pretty happy as they picked up six points in this scored run, which did improve their overall score. So they are now sitting pretty at that third place spot in our provisional standings. Of course, there is a a period in which these can be checked over in the next day or so. So let's take a look at that leaderboard and see where everyone stands heading into our final runs. That's CoStar and Explorer still up at the top. You could see CTU Cross Norlab just one point away from meeting up with those two. And then CyroData61 just got pushed down to that fourth place spot. And uh, I think we've got to show him something. You want to see what we have to show you? Yes. Yes, he does. All right, take a look. Yes. <laughs> I wish they I was going to say I wish they could have seen your face just complete elation you've now moved up into that third place spot and I know that was a big goal for you guys yeah.